Okay, imagine working at Dairy Queen. You know, you know the. Do you guys know the fucking like intercoms? Intercoms. You know those things where you talk into it, it go all the way throughout the building, and it's great, right? There he is. Hey, Rich. But anyway, since he works there, every week since he worked there, he'd go right up to the intercom, and he'd just go. For like a minute and a half. And no one said anything, but then one day he went into the back room and he looked in there and there's a blue book of everything, any, every outburst of every employee. And he was there for every day. And then he got fired in the next week. It was great. He was my best friend. Can I get a headshot on this douche? Damn, that was not worth it. Anyway, he's the best. Yeah, quote unquote outburst. He always did that, dude. I had a film studies class with him. Oh my god, is that a mailbox? Yeah, mailbox post. Ooh, wait, no, sword. Oh me, oh no, you did it. Well, anyway, the thing is, I had a drama class with him, and every like not even every drama class, but but this one drama class, we had a surround. We have a, the best surround sound system set up because it's dramatic and all this stuff. Is he still a friend? Yes. We don't have classes together though, but. I don't know, next year we might. Hey B-Boy, anyway, <laughs> welcome to my channel. But the thing is, after all of that happened, he also, he went to our fucking, oh god, he's so retarded, I love him. The thing is, we had a, we had like a substitute teacher program. It was like a foreign exchange student only with teachers. And we got an Australian guy called Mr. Ryan, and he was such a dick to him. He'd always come into the room, and he'd always yell right to his face, G'day, Crocker Giant Hunter! He'd always call him Croc Hunter, or, oh, what was it, Dundee. And he's always talking about Australian football. He was always talking about Crocodile Hunter, and he was always talking about his nipples. Seriously, every about fifth class or so, every week, he'd at least take off his shirt and rub his nipples. Seriously. He, he was kicked out of the room one time, and he leaves the room... And just as he leaves, like, he, the teacher was joking when he said, Okay, if you just don't want to learn, just leave. And he gets up, and he starts to walk away, and right as he hits the door, everyone thinks he's going to stop and turn around and come back. He stops, turns around, and says, ba 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 and then he walks away. That's like, if you're going to say, I'm loving this moment right now, you say, ba da ba 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 You don't say, this is great. You don't say, oh, I'm loving this right now. You say, ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. But anyway, back to the drama class. We had the best surround sound system set up, and he took his friend's phone, plugged it into the surround sound system, and then took his phone and phoned his friend's phone. So now his voice is over the intercom. So all throughout the school, I'm not joking, you could go down four hallways down and hear, ah, ah, Best day ever. He didn't even get kicked out of class. The teacher thought it was creative output, quote unquote. Best kid I knew. He is a zombie. He's got the zombie noises. Seriously. Best kid ever. Why are you vomiting right now? Oh my god. Going around in circles? Hell yeah, I'm jogging. I'm jogging. Gotta keep fit when I'm killing zombies. What else did that kid do? I remember the day he took one of the hairs off of his nipple and put it on Mr. Ryan's back. That was pretty good. Oh, I like that time he threw it. Uh, Mr. Ryan brought in a cowboy hat and an American foot or a Canadian football. Or no, um, fuck, Australian football. He took the Australian football and he just pegged it and it hit him right in the face. He also got sent to the office and suspended for going in the hallway. When I was supposed to make a finishing video for uh, drama, he made a guest appearance right at the end where he. Seriously, he's just. There's, there's a kid named Rizwan. Rizwan's really quiet. He start, Like, there were partners in my drama class. What Chris would do sometimes is he'd get bored and he'd say, I gotta go to the bathroom! As loudly as he could. And then he'd go into the bathroom and all you could hear the whole time was, Oh! 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 oh, oh. While the teacher was talking. And the teacher's trying to explain it and all you can hear is this coming out of the bathroom. But the best part is, his partner in crime, Rizwan, did the- like, he convinced Rizwan to do it too. But the thing is, there is a chick in the bathroom. 
like the teacher Rizwan goes up to the teacher the teacher he says can I go to the bathroom and we all forget about Rizwan and then all of a sudden all you hear is oh 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 and we're like oh it's Rizwan he's in the bathroom oh 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 and then this chick I mean this the chick that we all think is actually pretty damn hot comes right out of the bathroom and she's like wait what's happening I hear noises and we're like oh my god it was her it turns out Rizwan was in literally the next room. The next room, just beside her, making all the noises and being the best kid ever. There's also another time <laughs> we had a substitute teacher. And we're doing this thing, it's like improv, where she gives us a newspaper and we're like, okay, now make an item out of it, it'll be fun. And she gives it to each person, and then it gets to Rizwan. She gives it to Rizwan. Rizwan just sits there for a minute or two, and she's like, Okay, Rizwan, you got anything? And he takes the piece of paper, throws it right in her face, and he's like, I can't do this! And then he runs out of the room and pretends to cry. Best day ever. There's all The same substitute came back the next day because the teacher wasn't here. I don't think she could handle us. Our class, our class had the cops come in two times. No joke, two times the cops came into that classroom. But anyway, what happened was, um... The same teacher comes in the next day, and all we did is we got into a group of about five guys, me, Rizwan, Chris, the other Chris in our class, I think Dylan was there too. Dylan was on the cast once, I think. There's a highlight of me bitching at Alyssa to make me a sandwich, and I think he was there too. But anyway, what happened is I just go out, and we all circle around the teacher and just start thrusting her. I'm not joking. We all circle around her and thrust her, and she's like, what are you guys doing? We're like, we're hugging you. We're hugging you right now. We're hugging you. And she she ran with it. She fucking ran with it. Get out your seat and move your feet. What else happened in that class? We famous everybody. Damn, that class was great. I'm going to miss it so much, man. Was your teacher hot? No. We always had subs because she couldn't handle our shit. H Vegas. Duncan wasn't in our class. He wasn't. He was in my math class with Mr. Ryan and um, Chris. Chris is fucking great. Hey, Tommy Gun. What what else was happening? Um. Uh. There's too much happening. Oh yeah, there was one time we were supposed to make scars and stuff, and all I did is I teamed up with Dylan and this other Alyssa I know, not the one that I bitched at to make me a sandwich. But we're all sitting around and we get bored. What school? Uh, can't. I don't want to tell you. It's in Edmonton. But anyway, the thing is, what I do is instead of making a cut. All I did was I made literally a vagina on my wrist. Seriously, there was a vagina on my wrist, and I'm going around showing people. I'm like, "Hey guys, hey guys, check out this. This is my this is my cut." And I go up to the teacher. I'm like, "Hey, check out my cut, my gash." I said my gash that time. That was great. And she looked at me like, "Oh my god, what the fuck is this kid?" And then she's like, "Oh wait, he just sucks at making wounds." And she's like, "Oh, that's really great, Tom. You should've." So they do good, and then we had to go show them all off, and I just showed my vagina, and I started fingering it for like a minute and a half. That was a good class, too! What else did I do? Uh, I gotta think here. Thought you were famous, girl. Um... Damn it. In his cut. Yeah, yeah. Um... Oh yeah, there was time where we had to put on makeup or something. It was our makeup unit. We were supposed to do makeup on everything. It was the gayest unit ever. I think that's when the cops came in the first time. But anyway, what happened is, um, the cops stopped coming to our class. They actually did. Seriously, they phoned him once, they phoned him twice, and then the third time they're like, no, you're gonna have to solve the problem yourself. That is when you know you have a great fucking class, okay? Greatest class ever is when the cops stop coming to your class. What else happened? Someone put makeup on their dick. Okay, no. Oh, my old drama class was like that. My old drama class was sexy. 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 It wasn't sexy. It was sexual. But the thing is, um, we had the teacher's coffee. Some kid pissed in it. And then we had, uh, like, she was so dumb. She was so fucking dumb. We, we went onto our computer and we just looked up 18. I mean, seriously, 18 porn sites piled on top of each other. File over file, or website over website. And we turned on the projector and projected all of this porn. And right when she came in the room, we're like, oh, "What? Oh, what the fuck was her name? Damn it! I'll say Chidoric. I know it wasn't Chidoric. Chidoric was a different teacher. But Miss Chidoric, Miss Chidoric, what? What were you looking at? And she's like, "Oh, oh, I can't remember." And she looks on the screen. She's like, "Oh, sorry, you guys. Like, I guess I left that on." And I'm like, "Oh my god, no way!" So she goes on. She closes one, and then she's like, 
she keeps closing them. She can't she can't use a computer with shit. So she gives up about the fifth page because there's 18 of them. And then she's like, okay, I'll just turn off the projector. So she turns it off, but we had the remote. So every time she was talking to us, we'd turn it on. I don't know why, but she wouldn't notice it. It got boring after a while, but it was still great. Damn it, I'm just hurting myself now. She didn't even deny that it was her. She didn't. She was such a... Uh, she was so fucking messed up. We always had those... You know those contests that you'd have in class? Where you'd yell, like, penis or vagina or boobies or some dirty word as loud as you can? Like, you'd start off, like, penis. And then the kid you'd go beside you would go penis. And then the next kid would go penis. And whoever was loudest would win. We were... Th like, fucking... My throat hurt at the end of that. I was sitting in the middle of class, I'm like, hey, who wants to have one of those competitions where you just yell as loud as you can and see who can yell the loudest? And everyone's like, no, Tom, Tom, you know the teacher won't do anything. Okay, I'll do it by myself. And I start off on the highest note I could. I'm like, penis! And I tried to beat it. I, I seriously, I spent 10 minutes yelling the word penis, and she didn't do anything. Break all the barrels! Oh, that was crazy. That was almost like a home run. What else happened in that class? Oh, that was cool. Um, there was...